Hello and welcome back to Think Tank. I'm Pastor Devin. Well, this week is Easter week and we do a lot of things to celebrate what Jesus did on Easter. But you know what? A lot of people know what's, why, why did East, Jesus do what he did on Easter? Why, why would he die for us? Why, why would he do all that he did for us, suffer all he went through? Because, you know, we as humans make a, a lot of mistakes. There's a couple reasons. <clears throat> First and foremost, he says in the Bible <clears throat> that we're supposed to run after a prize. We're supposed to run after the treasure with all of our heart. And as Jesus says, you are his treasure. You are the most important thing in his life. Think about that. <clears throat> no matter who you think you are, no matter what anybody else says about you, as far as God's concerned, you're his treasure. Not only you are his treasure, but it says in Ephesians that you're his masterpiece. You're the best thing he's ever made. He, he is so enamored with you because you are the best of the best. God, when he created us, he said we were very good. He took great care to form you. And yeah, I know others might say, oh, I don't look this way or I don't do this way. You know what, God made you specially the way you are because he put great care and thought into who you are. And lastly, but, but most importantly, is he loves you. For no other reason than the fact that he loves you no matter what you've done. He loves you just the way you are. It says in 1 John, he loved us. We love him because he loved us first. Before we did anything wrong and before we did anything right, God decided in his mind that he was going to love us. So you're his treasure, you're his masterpiece, and he is head over heels in love with you. No matter what you've done, he is simply in love with you. And that's why he chose to do what he did on Easter Sunday about 2,000 years ago. Not because of some obligation, not because he took pity on us, but because he looked at you as his treasure, his masterpiece, and the one thing he loves above everything else. That's why he did what he did on Easter. That's why we thank him for that and celebrate him for that because it's not has anything to do with us. He already decided that we are his treasure, his masterpiece, and the one he loves. Wow, isn't that amazing? So celebrate this week for Easter. Tell them that's the reason for Easter this week. And let them say, hey, no matter what anybody else thinks, this is what God thinks of you. You can change someone's life for all of eternity. And why Jesus do that? Well, you know why. Because Jesus loves you. We love you. And you are awesome.